guys, my Vernon Kid here again. How's everybody doing out there? Once again, welcome back to the Opinion Spot, uh, the segment where basically, as I like to say, you, the viewers, your opinion counts, matters to me. And as always, I'm back again with another top 10 list. And, uh, well, read the title. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, basically, this is a top 10 list of movie, comic characters I would like to see get movies outside of the big two, basically. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this list, So, and the countdown begins. Number 10. Alright, so, number 10, we started off, uh... As many characters may know, I'm a big pulp, thick pulp character. I like the pulp characters that predate Superman and Batman and people like that that came out in the 30s and 40s. Uh, as you can see, yeah, Flash Gordon. Um, I would love to see them bring back Flash Gordon to the big screen. Um, now there has, there is talks of Sam Worthington being attached to doing. A new Flash Gordon movie. The last Flash Gordon movie I seen, and I can't even remember all about it, was the 1980s version where basically they had. I remember him flying and Queen was playing Flash. Ah, you know what I'm saying? But I do remember Sci Fi Channel bringing a new Flash Gordon series around maybe 2007 or 2008. It was okay, but it didn't last too long. But, uh, yeah, it would be really cool to see them bring Flash Gordon, another uh, cool sci-fi character that, you know, is kind of like the aspect of Buck Rogers and things like that again. Um, once again, I think play up the aspect of what Dynamite is doing with the character. Um, Dynamite Comics has been really kicking ass with the pulp characters. And uh, it'd be really cool to see, you know, Ming and all of them come back and, you know, just... You know, it would be cool to see that. You know, just a, a really good uh, take, once again, on Flash Gordon. You know, I know probably not too many people are familiar with the character, but uh, a movie like this could help, and on a higher stage than what it did 30-something years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Flash Gordon makes my number 10 on my list, and uh, let's keep it rolling. Number nine. Yeah, number nine. Red Sonia. Yeah. Uh once again, this is another character that was attached to be in a movie. Um, a long time ago. Basically we heard that it was being made. It was uh Rose McGowan was attached to being the lead, you know, uh, you know, Red Sonia. And I remember seeing her in doing an interview at, I believe, the 2008 or 2009 San Diego Comic Con. And she was huge. I'm talking jacked up, just muscled. She looked taller than the, the interview that was she was in that was interviewing her. And I looked, I was like, like, what happened to her? Like, and she said she was she's been training for being Red Sonia. And she talked about she just finished her swords training and she was going to do uh, horseback training and I still want to see Red Sonja be brought to the big screen because I think we still need some of those strong female leads and uh, also the fact that A, I think being me, being a child of the 80s, I don't want to just remember Red Sonja being played by Brigitte Nielsen. Yeah, which was really... Let's just say that was almost Conan 2.0, in a way, of Arnold, and she was just the co-star, in a sense. Um, I really want to see them bring Red Sonja to how she's betrayed, once again, in Dynamite Comics. They portray her as fierce, badass, this is a woman you don't screw around with, um, and she'll, she, she cut your balls off and hand it to your partner. You know, you know, if you piss her off, um, and she's just another good character that Robert E. Howard created, and I still want to see it brought to the big screen, and uh, 
I think it would be fierce because she can live up to, in retrospect, what Xena did in the 90s. You know, whether you're male or female. Xena was everybody. Everybody loved Xena. And Red Sonja can do that. And if they can just get a really good script, finally, and get out of development hell. Because after they dropped Rose McGowan, they were saying Megan Fox. And I was like, oh, hell no. You know, no, 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 no. So I would really want to see Red Sonja make it on the screen once again. And that's why she makes my number nine spot once again. Uh, does, it's just a, a matter of can it be done? Number eight. <laughs> okay, so uh, number eight. Yeah, num number eight is a very interesting character. I don't think a lot of people know about her or probably read too much on her. Another female character. She's from Top Cow Comics. Uh, she first appeared in The Darkness, uh, number 15. And uh, that's none other than Magdalena. Uh, I've always had respect for Magdalene. I, I, I would think that they could probably pull this off if they were to give it a chance and see the property of the character. The character is affiliated with the, the Catholic Church and she carries the Spear of Destiny and everything like that. If they can do movies like Constantine and things like that, I don't see why they couldn't do uh, Magdalena and showcase this, this girl. Um with her fighting prowess and everything like that. I know they would probably like to, well, probably if, if so, me be, they would have to like upgrade her, her outfit a little bit more. But I, I think the hooded look works. Um, more of the, the knighted plated look that she wears in the comics and things like that. Um, she, it could be even a spinoff from the, from a darkness movie or so, you know, uh, in a sense, make her first appearance in Darkness, and then she she's she has her own spinoff, you know, uh, dealing with demons and things like that. Uh, my advice, yeah, it could be just a one-time deal that never need to be a sequel, but just a one-time movie that would just pay respects to the character and uh, show just showcase, you know, that you know there are other characters outside of Marvel and DC. You know, like I said, Hellboy is it from Dark Horse, and he seems to have gotten over pretty well. And the Goon is supposed to be coming out with a movie, uh, so why not someone else like Magdalena? Think about that. Number seven. Yeah, number seven. Um, this one, guys, you probably know about um and probably big fans of but wouldn't you like to see savage dragon be brought to the big screen eric lark's larkskin's character you know i would love to see them bring you know this character to the big screen i mean it would be really fun to see you know them tell the like a live action story of you know this giant <laughs> like dragon like man who's got superhuman strength and he heals fast and he's a cop in Chicago and things like that. He has no memory of who he is or where he comes from, things like that. As And I'm, I haven't done this yet in some of them, but as for seeing who can play him, that's a little harder for me. Um, but definitely it would be really a challenge to see that being brought. And I think it would be cool. Like, once again, I go back to Hellboy because... They, to me, they, they've gotten Hellboy over. And both of those movies, to me, were pretty damn good. So why not another image uh, image character like Savage Dragon get over and just showcase this guy? I mean, some people might look at him like, oh, he looks like he looks. I can see some people, non-people uh, who don't know the character, look at him like, oh, he's a Hulk wannabe. You know, and because he's green and things like that. But the Hulk and Savage Dragon are totally different. Totally different. And that's just not in appearances, but just character-wise at all. And I would love to see them <laughs> bring the dragon to the big screen and him fighting the super freaks and things like that in, in Chicago, you know. And 
you know, it, it would it would be a blast to see that because I am a fan of Savage Dragon. Um, I haven't read a Savage Dragon comic in a while, but I am still a fan of his. And I did watch the animated series back in the days. I didn't like it too much. It, you know, it wasn't the opening was the best thing. <laughs> That's what I'll, I'll say right there. Especially for season two, I think the opening was the best. But um, yeah, you know, Savage Dragon, you know, could get over. It could get over done right. And it would take a very good special effects and director of that caliber to bring it to life and give it some justice and make Eric Lars Larson's uh, character very unique. And for the people that are non-comic fans that know, don't know the character, like him. Number six. Yeah. Uh, number six. Uh... As you all guys know, this character has had a, a movie out back in 1997, but I think it's high time that he gets rebooted for his own good, and that's none other than Spawn. Yeah. How many of us would want a new Spawn movie re rebooted or just a new Spawn movie, period? Um, don't get me wrong. I remember going to see the first movie in the movie theaters and I looked at it and I was like uh it's okay you know it the acting could have been better and you know I thought Michael Jai White as Al Simmons was okay he wasn't that bad um uh, Martin Sheen in there and things like that but the whole aspect of it kind of left me like Spawn is supposed to be a real dark character and the movie didn't come off as dark and gritty as Spawn's supposed to you know what I'm saying so I would really love to see them bring it back and we've heard out of the woodwork Todd and Fallen saying yeah he's gonna do another one but ain't nothing happening but I would really love to see them reboot it for the better now determining who would play Al Simmons or will they go with the new one Crowley or I hope I'm saying his name right um is a different but I think people would want Al Simmons back but I think it would be cool to get more into the fact that if it was me doing the reboot already established that he's been spawned for a while I uh, I would go that route that he don't tell the origin over just tell that he's been spawned for a while He's, um, and get more into, like, maybe the the angel side of things, like, you know, get more in between the battle of heaven and hell and how Spawn is trapped in the middle of it and things like that. I mean, add more characters from his rogues gallery besides Jason Wynn if they go with Al Simmons, you know. I would love to see them bring, you know, uh, 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 jeez. Uh, not Cy Gorilla, not him, but uh, Overkill would be cool, or the Redeemer, or you know, just a, a lot of other characters, the Gatekeeper, and you know, uh, besides that. But I, I feel that Spawn needs to be rebooted for the better. Um, he was one of the biggest characters in the '90s uh, when he came out. That that comic was sold out like hotcakes you know and people all wanted to know who this guy was and you know he's got cool powers he's got this this supernatural feel to him you know he he can heal pretty much from any wound he's he's got this mist the chains that come out and the, his cloak you know can wrap people up it's almost alive you know things like that always intrigued me about spawn and i've always loved that i love the hbo series you know uh and that's kind of the way of using, and in a sense, they could use that as kind of a focus point if they wanted to reboot it. You know, dark, gritty, because Spawn's a dark, gritty character. You can't get lighthearted with him. Um, but, you know, that that's definitely a, a way to go with, uh, with, with uh, Spawn, in my sense. And I would love to see them bring him back. But, uh, yeah. Uh... 
Five down, five more to go.